Hey guys, Scott into Football here, back with another video. And today's video is Premier League score predictions, game week 31. I just recently did the game week 30, so if you, if you do like score predictions, I recommend you do go and check that one out. Also, I am doing championship predictions on Thursday, and I did do some last week as well, so go and check out my um, other championship score predictions for game week 38 I think if you really do like score predictions like I just said I hope everybody is doing good well I'm doing I am doing good as well but let's just get straight into the video then I have nothing else to say so let's get straight straight to it right the first game is Leicester City versus Brighton Hove Albion well, Brighton recently just beat um, Arsenal 2-1. But lots of people will say it's just Arsenal, just Arsenal, just Arsenal. I, thought I do agree with them over that. Well, Leicester got a 1-1 draw against Watford last, but I've got one thing to say to the Brighton fans. One player to watch out for Leicester, one player to watch out for tomorrow is Ben Chilwell following that, that, wonderful, that wonderful strike that did Watford. That any sort of winger or striker could score. I am going to say a win to Leicester here. I'm going to go 2 1 to Leicester. 2 1 to Leicester. I just, think, I just don't think Brighton will get heavily thrashed. But I just think Leicester have got this one. Right, the next prediction is Tottenham Hotspur versus West Ham United. Well, West Ham United are playing quite poor at the moment and are looking like they could go down. Well, before the season got suspended, they actually lost to Liverpool 3 2 and they actually were the better team. So, but I'm going to say a win to Tottenham here. I'm going to go Tottenham Hotspur 1, West Ham United 0. I think Tottenham have got the extra little bit of quality compared to West Ham. Well, Tottenham just got a 1 1 draw in Man United and they actually played alright. Right, the next prediction is Wolves, Wolves versus Bournemouth. Well, Relegation threat and Bournemouth might be looking to to go down after I can't re I can't remember how many seasons they've been in the Prem now, but it's incredible what Eddie Howe came in and, and did. Originally they were they were in League Two, always facing liquidation liquidation. I think he won League he won to League in League Two, then League One Championship. It's, it's I've got full respect to Bournemouth over what they've done with Eddie Howe, but apart from that, I've got nothing else to say about them really. But I'm going to say um, Wolves 1, Bournemouth 1, 1-1 one, one draw. Because we'll, we just never sew up in these games. It's like, Brighton, it's like Brighton and Southampton. We just never sew up. Usually, I would, if we do sew up, I'd usually say 4 or 5 nil to Wolves. But I'm just saying, we don't, I think it might be 0-0. I think it might be 1-0 down at half-time. And then we play better in the second half like we always do. Right, on to the next prediction is um, Manchester United versus Sheffield United. Well, Sheffield United have actually been playing quite poor at the moment. I think the reason for this is because they're playing without the fans and they were in League One, League One and they got promoted into the Championship and now at two Premier League. I just think playing behind closed doors with their first season in the Premier League might be a little bit too much for them, but I got full respect to Chris Wilder in their team because they're a fantastic team. While they could still pick up their form and get into Europe, they just need to start picking up their form. I'm going to say a 2 0 win for Manchester United here. We played alright against Tottenham last, and Sheffield United haven't got a goal in the last two games, and they played poor against. They got dominated against Villa, even though it was a 0 0 draw. And and he just lost 3 0 to Newcastle. Well, it was 0 0 until John Hagen got sent off, but he weren't playing the best even when they had 11 players on the pitch. And that end of Steven literally failed to tackle um, St. Alan St. Maxiam. He literally sl slided past St. Maxiam. It was really, that was actually really funny. Right, if we go 3 0, we'll go 2 0 to Manchester United. Right, the next game is Newcastle United versus Aston Villa. Well, Aston Villa got dominated against Chelsea in the last game, so I am gonna, I am gonna say a Newcastle won three 0 
I think it's only because Zeppel United had that sending off. But Newcastle were playing quite dis decent though. Before, before they won the game, three goals to no one. Zeppel United had that sending off. But I'm going to say 1-0 to win, win to Newcastle United here. I think the reason why Newcastle United got the 3-0 win in the last game was because they were at home at St James, James's Park in a 52,000 seater stadium. They know that they've got the new Saudi owners in now. It gives them a confidence boost because they know their takeover deal has gone through. Also, Joe Linton might actually play better behind closed doors without the fans. Because while well, the Saudis will be looking at players who will be going, and some of the others like Anson Maxiam, Sal John Joe Salvi, um, Matty Longstaff, and Sean Longstaff, and Joe Linton will want to prove themselves to the Saudi owners that they want to stay here. Yeah, but I personally think the first player out the door at door at um, Newcastle will probably be Joe Linton. Probably, though, with one effort to make to try and make put Newcastle one up, he literally sort of scored. He it, it was literally. I think a Todder could have scored. I think a Todder could have put that in the net better than him. We still got a goal though. It was a tap in. Obviously, you would expect him to score that. If he didn't, I'm not too sure what sort of striker he is. A striker, two goals this season. What do you call a striker who scores two goals in a season? Right, move on. So I said 1 0 Newcastle United. Let's move on to the next prediction. Um, Norwich City versus Everton. I'm going to say 3 1 win to Everton here. Well, funnily enough, one of Norwich's wins was actually against Everton and where good as some part, but that was. That was when they weren't playing very well, though. But uh, uh, since Carlo Ancelotti has come in at Everton, results have really have picked up under him. Under him, and he ha he, ha he is actually one of the best managers in the world, probably one of them. Anyway, I don't think he got sacked by Napoli. I don't know why he got sacked by them. I thought they were playing quite well, Napoli. Right, next, next. But I do think in this game, Everton, right. I think they got enough quality over um, Norwich to win the game because Everton actually sort of beat Liverpool last game, in my opinion. They were the better team. Right, I think, well, the next game, next prediction is Liverpool versus Crystal Palace. I think this game could be a draw. I'm going to go 2 2. Because Palace, that, Crystal Palace actually played some really nice stuff this season. And they really have improved this season. They could still qualify for Europa League spot, even if they keep winning all the time. Liverpool. I know yeah. Liverpool are just doing quite bad now. I still I can't see them bottling the title now until they... Unless it... If they were going to bottle the title, they had to lose to Everton yesterday, if they were. And Man City have to be... Um, Burnley tonight to stand any chance of going for the title. I think now that Man City, if they win tonight, will go 20 points behind Liverpool. That's still a lot, though. Right, the next prediction is Burnley versus Watford. Wow. I think Watford are going to win this game. Go 2-1 Watford. I haven't seen Burnley play yet, so this is... Game is predictions really hard for me to predict until like Burnley play tonight against Manchester City. So I've gone for a 2 1 to Watford here. I do think Watford have got a bit more quality over Burnley. Well, Burnley did play quite well until the season got suspended. But I just, I just don't know how to go about this one. So we go 2 1 Watford. Right, the next prediction is Southampton versus Arsenal. I think South, I think Arsenal are gonna lose again. Lose again. I'm gonna go Southampton two, Arsenal one. Southampton beat Norwich three 0 in their last game, and Arsenal have lost the last two games to Manchester City, which you probably would expect, and Brighton. Well, you wouldn't expect that against Brighton. Well, Burn Leno got injured, and Arsenal have got quite a few injuries at the moment, and David De Weef was suspended. So, no, it's not it's not going great for Arsenal, is it? Also, there was a bit of a scrap between the Brighton and Arsenal players at the final whistle last game because I think Mope injured um, Leno by mistake, and then because he got the winning goal, 
then they were fighting at the end of the game, which made the situation worse. So I, I think Arsenal gonna have a nightmare again, like winning one nil and then lose two one. Southampton. Well, Southampton haven't really got anything to play for, really, because they know they're pretty staying up now. And Arsenal, no, they can't qualify for Europa League, probably, or or Champions League. They definitely can't qualify for Champions League, but uh, well, they still could qualify for Europa League if they actually pick up results now. And also, they're still in the FA Cup as well. Well, they're not in Europa League any longer. They got knocked out by Olympiacos, who also currently got so I don't think Arsenal are going to get any better in this game. I'm going to say 2 on Southampton. Right, the next game is Chelsea versus Manchester City. Wow, Chelsea actually do play better against the bigger teams. I'm going to say Chelsea 2, Manchester City 1. Also, he's a home side. They always lose to the bottom half teams. But but he did beat Villa yesterday. And they're, and they're in a relegation zone. So that's really not all quite true, is it? R right, so I do think... Man City will have a nightmare here at Stamford Bridge and Chelsea will actually get a retort against them here. But on Manchester City side, I think they really need to beat Chelsea. Do you want any chance of catching up with Liverpool? I can't see no one's catching up with Liverpool apart from Man City, but I just cannot see even them catching up. I think they will catch up with Liverpool at least about 5% of their chances. I can't see anything else happening now. Right, we're at the end of the video now, so if you like the video, please remember to like and subscribe. And if you are new around here, please do subscribe to the channel and share this channel with other people if you do like this channel and my videos. Right, the next video will be on Thursday and I'll be doing Championship Predictions Game Week 39. Until then, hope you all enjoyed this video. Until then, goodbye.